我が名は中央クロコダイよし行くぞ Oh, first of all, after like I don't know, at least two to three hundred years since its announcement, Square Enix finally came out with a gameplay teaser for Dragon Quest The Adventures of Die. Infinity's trash. I'm not even kidding. Now this comes with the addition of no consoles announced yet, which is probably not even weird at all, and no specific release date, but a vague 2022 window as of this moment. Take a look. Hi. 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 So just a few days back, and it was a damn fine surprise, technically speaking though. We came across hack after like, I'm not even sure to be honest. Like is this a pseudo remake, a crossover, or a collection? The answer is actually yes. What we do have here, hack GU less recode comes with the first three games in addition to a new entry governed by reconnection. Anyway, that and a few other changes and into the Nintendo Switch March 10th next year. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Kingdom Come Deliverance, on the other hand, which is a first-person open-world RPG, well, it's just something in the same vein as, well, so, to be fair, Sky kind of Skyrim and chivalry games, but quite different to be specific, is also targeting the Nintendo Switch, probably via the cloud service as well. Not anytime soon, but there's words before the end of 2022. Anyway, this is how it looks like, and even came up with a new trailer for it. your own. your new name and wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. What's happening? Age of Eternity by Midgar Studio, on the other hand, a turn-based JRPG style exploration kind of game from earlier in June that actually went on to become available on Steam, only with a lot of positive acclaim, is also headed to the Nintendo Switch via the cloud service in case you want to ring, and into the other consoles as well in case you should know February 23 next year. Check it out, well to accompany the news, he also came up with another trailer. Look out, he's corroded! I'd start running if I were you. Yeah. I'll show you how it's done. Player, lend me your strength. Massacre mode activated. Let's go. Hurt, not in a good way. I think it was no more than a month ago, but we actually got the announcement that like 10 Kingdom Hearts games are on the way to the Nintendo Switch. Well, I'd have to say probably the most notable one, though in the long list of its announcement, was Kingdom Hearts 3, which is on its way to the hybrid console in addition to its DLC, fully optimized and playable via the cloud service somewhere between early to mid 2022. Check it out. Oh, all I ever do is hurt people. Yeah. Whoa! 
give me strength. Dragon Quest X, or basically the offline Dragon Quest X game releasing on the hybrid console actually January 26th in Japan and then February 23rd worldwide. Now this actually came out way like no more than a day ago in addition to a brand new trailer and the news that it's actually coming our way with brand new content. Check it out. the daughter of the moon, a tale of reunions 22 years in the making, or perhaps a tale of destinies dancing intertwined, a waltz to the dream of time's ticking clock. Now, but some of you might remember this crossover game to the old Chrono Trigger game on the Super Nintendo console from all the way back 30 years ago, going by Chrono Cross, which was actually a PlayStation exclusive back 20 years ago. Well, here's the thing, a crossover to Chrono Cross that goes by another Eden, the cat, beyond time and space, which is actually available now on the PCs and the mobile devices, is on its way to the Nintendo Switch sometime March next year, and this is what it looks like. Trembling, tumbling, like a comet in the night. doing this, because I'm the only one that can. I'm gonna kick your asses so hard you'll kiss the moon! Yeah, soon you shall be dreaming, dreaming of moi. Fate scoffed. Now, let love bleed. Let it run darker and deeper than the seas of hell. We have Pokemon Legends Arceus that releases for the Nintendo Switch exclusively on January 28th, this time with a brand new look and into the past of the Pokemon world actually. Now you probably know this game is marked to be a really different kind of Pokemon experience than previous games technically speaking, so in the meantime, to accompany the hype once again they even came up with another trailer. Here it goes.
Yudin Chronicles 100 Heroes, which is for those of you new, actually the spiritual successor to Suikoden games, and right now, the number one funded game through a Kickstarter campaign, a turn-based RPG that's being developed by some of the most known veterans of its genre, just went on to receive another trailer, in addition to the previously announced news of the game's due out early to mid-2023. A quick look. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 were actually one of the most nostalgic duos out of the past few years when it comes to action RPGs, also hack and slashers, to be precise, is available now in Japan's only. So you can actually get both games separately on PCs, but if you are a Switch owner and you've been actually wondering when the hybrid version comes out. Well, to be honest, I don't know, actually nobody knows, but words has it, we are getting this bundle in only a few months, but go ahead and take this with a grain of salt. So if you are an MMORPG guy, unlike me, there is a good chance you've already had hands on the Lineage W. Now, Lineage is basically available now, almost worldwide and on the mobile devices in addition to PCs, and not in the Americas. But, well, we've just received the word that it's hitting Switch, in addition to its previously released Blats and Into the West, finally early to mid next year. And here's even a new trailer to go with that. Rune Factory 5, on the other hand, the farming RPG game you all know already launched in Japan months ago, with a lot of positive acclaim at the moment, so called by its developers a fast paced action RPG, is also on its way to the West, finally March 22nd. It is a Nintendo Switch exclusive, in case you didn't know, and to accompany the news, it even came up with a new trailer for it. Check this out. Where did you come from? What brings you to our peculiar little slice of the frontier? Work hard, stay on guard. I await whatever the day may bring. I can learn a lot from someone like you. In delight, I am the abyss. I am one and I am all. The world and the self, ephemeral, eternal. <laughs> Moving on, we have Monarch, 
Now, Monarch is a turn-based RPG or so that's being developed by the same folk who made Shin Megami Tensei games previously that's actually been getting a lot of attention for the past few weeks. Now, Monarch is on its way to the Nintendo Switch and other consoles as well, February 22nd. We've just received this new release date and this into a brand new trailer and into the gameplay section this time. Check this out. Now here's the thing guys, if you do appreciate a good pixel art game, if you do appreciate good design, I'm talking about AAA scale pixel art game, do make sure to keep an eye out for Sea of Stars, which is literally the biggest game of its kind in the making and with the premise of a turn-based RPG just like the old good Chrono Trigger games also composed by the same folk and into the Nintendo Switch late 2022. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Atelier Sophie 2, the long-running femme protagonist anime RPG by Quick Mo that came our way one last time with another teaser trailer just now. Go ahead and take a look. This new game, The Alchemist of the Mysterious Dream, releases into PCs and the Nintendo Switch, other consoles as well, of course, February 25 next year. <laughs> だから、私がプラフタですって。まさか、こんな反応が錬金術でみんなを幸せにすることだからみんな準備はいいよね行くよソフィーのアトリエ2不思議な夢の錬金術師<笑> 